our performance this afternoon the kids are so excited to have you guys here um, a couple quick things before we start you may have noticed that our concession stand is open out in the lobby that will be open during intermission and also for about 10 minutes at the end of the show there will be a 15 minute intermission today uh, the show is about two hours long we should be done right around four o'clock at the end of the performance today, all of the actors and crew members are going to come up for a group picture. Then they can go greet you and say hello to you and take off their costume next before they leave to go to dinner. Um, and then after the show, you are free to buy flowers or treats for them if you would like. Like I said, concession stand will be open. There's also a restroom you're able to use just across the lobby for during intermission. Um, and but we please ask that if you do buy any food during intermission, that you eat it in the lobby so that you don't bring bring any crinkly crinkles into the auditorium because it's very annoying. Um, speaking of annoying, take out your cell phones and turn them off right now. Uh, go ahead, take out your phones, put them on silent, put them on mute, put them on airplane mode, do not disturb. This is the only time I want to see your cell phones right now, you turning them off. That's what I would like to see. Um, please don't take any flash photography during the show today. It's very distracting for the actors. Um, and also, please don't text because that will distract your neighbors from watching the show. And the actors can see it. They are real people. This is not a movie. Um, let me see. Oh, be careful. There is action happening in the aisles today. So keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle while you are watching the performance today uh, so we don't get anyone injured during the show. Um, I think that was everything that I wanted to say. I really hope so because I'm going to leave you to enjoy this performance of The Lion, Witch, and the Order. Maybe there is something to be done about it. What's that, Mr. Sinclair? 
We can hope and pray that our king will soon return. We keep hoping and praying, but he hasn't been seen for years. Not on my time or my father's time. Then we must all have more faith. I think Mr. Sunshine is right. I think so too. I think we should break this meeting up in a hurry. Why is that, Mr. Beaver? Shh, listen. Come on, you no more stalling. It sounds like Sanders all? I'm uh, that scoundrel. I'm terribly sorry, sir. And Thomas Vaughn. Poor Thomas. How did he ever get himself mixed up with that bad business? Whatever the reason, he's a mess. We'll be killed without that rascal, Thomas Holt. Mr. Beaver is right. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, and don't forget to pray diligently for the return of the king. Who was that? Who was that for you, action? Probably just a blizzard, sir. Probably the enemy. But they scattered swiftly at the arrival of Fenris Ulf, captain of the Queen's secret police. Now, why were you late coming to your post again this morning? But I really don't think I'm leaving you. A child of Adam and Eve has never been this way before. But when will someday? And it's your job to capture him. In fact, one might even come this way today. There's the smell of human in the air. And remember, if one comes and you fail to capture them, you know what the Queen will do to you. Turn me into a stone statue? At the very least. Now maintain your post, knave. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Oh, how did I ever get myself into this fix? My father would be so disappointed in me. Oh, well. If I'm lucky, maybe a human will never come this way. But if one does, I can take him to the queen and she'll reward me. But that would be wrong, I think. Oh, I'm perplexed as usual, more than except what I usually do when I'm perplexed. Play my pipe. What's not 
Come on, nice one. Yes, I'm a very bad one. <laughs> but you're the best one I ever met. How can I be when I worked for her? Her? Who? The white witch statue. Oh, she calls herself a queen, but she's the evil ruler in Narnia. She's the one who always makes it when you're here and never lets us have Christmas. <laughs> What kind of work do you do for the witch? I'm a kidnapper. I'm supposed to kidnap innocent children and bring them to her. I am sure you wouldn't do anything of the sort. But I am doing it. That's very normal. What do you mean? I'm supposed to take you to the white witch. But you won't, will you, Mr. Thomas? If I don't, she'll cut off my tail, sock my horns, pluck out my beard, and worse, she'll turn me into a stone statue with her magic wand. Maybe she won't know I was here. Will you please let me go home? Of course I will. I didn't know what a human was like before I met you, but now that I do, I can't take you to the witch. I'll take you back to the lamppost. From there, you can find your way back to Wardrobe in the land of spare room. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. We must go as quietly as we can. The woods are full of stars. Ah, she must be the 
started with E, which gave me that fool tongue in Well, you and Lindsay say, that's only two people. The prophecy said there'd be four children. Nothing to worry about. Unless, do you have any other brothers and sisters? Do you? Yes, Pete and Susan. What? Where are they? They're at the house we're staying at, on the other side of the wood road. Peter, Lucy, Susan, Edmund, two sons of Adam, two daughters of Peter. Just as the prophecy has stated. This is horrible! What's wrong, Your Majesty? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I can mean that it's horrible that your dear brother and sister couldn't be with us now. I would take you all to my castle in Ireland, the Duke and Duchesses of this land, with you, my dear boy, because you are special and I am yours. I will make you the Prince of Narnia. Really? And some baby. A king, you mean it? Enjoy my little prince. It's wonderful. And you may have more. And you must have a little something to eat as well. What is your favorite candy? Oh, that's easy. Turkish delight. The Turkish delight shall be. It's the best Turkish delight I've ever tasted. May I have more? Of course. Back up the half. I will spill the Turkish delight. Then let's go there right now. First, we must fetch the others. I can get them another time. Let's go. Now, my dear, bring them to my castle. It's between those two hills. He can't miss it. He'll spoil the church to light all the way. Come, Gork, we must prepare for our sweet guest. Oh, and the Edmund, my precious. Don't tell the others about me just yet. I'm going to be surprised when I see you. Let's get this visit. Our secret. Don't spread them from the rain, you Gork. There's much to do in such short time. Turkish light, rooms filled with it. Yes, I will bring Peter, Lucy, and Susan to the blue. I'm glad you're here. When you're outside my house, you can prepare for a witch. Oh, Mitch, this is terrible. I can't find Mr. Thomas anywhere. Let's go get Peter and Susan. Tell us find it. Do you really want to? I don't think you like it here. Well, maybe this place does lose their second one, especially in that large castle between the two hills. Good. We'll go get Peter and Susan. And this time we'll get close to the wardrobe. It's cool in here. As I told you, it's all the witch's fault. Oh, go on, Lucy. There's no such thing as a witch here in Narnia. The book and devil just have to wait. Yes. So the business is much more important. Look! There's the unicorn. We will go tell him. Miss Unicorn, over here if you will. Oh, good, it's you. I was afraid it was that awful Fenner's elf. Oh, he left some time ago. Dragon the unfortunate Mr. Thomas with him. How do you know? The best right by is what we have on the day. Fenner's wolf didn't see us, but Mr. Thomas did, and he dropped to this so that we would find it. What is it? I'm not sure, but it really belongs to a human. It has the smell of a daughter of Eve. You think that human has been here? Who yes. knows? Yes, and Mr. Thomas let her go. That's why it's such big trouble with Fenner's wolf. Where is this human now? If there was one. Who knows? Oh, she's smart. She would have left Nardia the moment she had the chance, never to return. Or to return with others. Others? I mean, humans? Perhaps. Remember the prophecy? Two sons of Adam and two daughters of Eve. Is this possible? We're not sure. We just have to wait and see. Listen, I just heard the most wonderful news. They say he has arrived in these parts. Our king? Yes, and that he is our king. They say he will likely appear at the stone table any time now. This is wonderful news. Mr. Centaur, we expect the arrival of children, human children, if they reach him, the prophecy will be fulfilled. But what if the witch gets them first? We must protect the children from the moment they arrive until they reach the stone table. And keep them hidden from the witch. Exactly. But which of us can help them? They might be afraid of me. They might not trust me. Unicorns only really make believe in their world. Mr. and Mrs. Eber, will you help them? Protect them from danger? But, but... It's this way. Look for the night, Bobby. Come on! They're coming. Will you please take care of them? But, but... Of course. I'll go prepare some food for dinner. Mr. Centaur, let's go and see if the good news you've heard is true. Yes, let's go meet you. But, but, what if they're afraid of me too? What if they don't trust me? We're hiding my wits together. Now are you convinced, Peter? Yes, I apologize for you not believing you. It's so different, and also very cold. That's why we borrowed these coats from the wardrobe, Susan. Oops. Well, what should we do first? Explore, of course. I think in that direction. 
Don't forget where the lamppost is. That's our landmark. We'll need to find it when we wish to return home. I think we should go home now. It's scary here. Don't be such a goose, Susan. Where's your sense of adventure? Whether we stay here or not, we must at least find poor Mr. Thomas. But you tried already. You couldn't even find his house. I would have sworn it was right over here. Look, what's that? A message of some kind. The former occupant of these premises, Paul Thomas, is under arrest and awaiting his trial on the charge of High treason against her Imperial Majesty, Jadis, Queen of Narnia. Signed, Fenris Ulf, Captain of the Secret Police. Long live the Queen. Oh no! Who is this Queen? She's not a real Queen at all. She's a horrible witch who makes it always winter but never Christmas in Narnia. It doesn't seem safe here, Lucy. What about just going back? But we have to find Mr. Thomas. It's my fault he's in trouble. I suppose he was right. Very well, but this place does worry me. Where should we explore first? I say we look for something. I'm Oh, Edmund, you're always thinking about this. Oh, your stomach. And you're always thinking about your hair and your clothes and how you look. But if I look like you, I believe you two. Stop acting like brothers. I just wish I knew when Mr. Thomas was in prison. I say we head to the castle. Very well. Perhaps you'll go over there. What was that? Nothing scared you can't let go. Are you the sons of Adam and the daughters of Eve? We're some of them. Quick, follow me, we're not safe here. What do you mean? Most of the force creatures are friends, but some are on her side if you know what I mean. Come, let us go. Wait! I say we head to the castle. How can we trust a silly beaver? Stop being so smart, man, and pay attention to him. How do we know he's a friend? Here's my token. My handkerchief! Mr. Thomas got this out in order to expect you. Now, come, please come quickly. We have to get you to our king. Your king? Aslan. Aslan? Aslan. The very name makes me feel brave and adventurous. The name sounds like a delightful strange music to me. It warms me up, makes me feel like summer. It gives me a bad feeling, like some mysterious horror. Hey, what is wrong with you? You're acting so strange. How am I supposed to act in a strange place? I say we head to the castle. I say we go to Mr. Beaver. I too. And I. Three against one, Ed. Come on. Mrs. Beaver, we're here. I found out the sons of Adam and the daughters of Eve. Welcome, welcome. I have some dinner for you, fresh from the smokehouse. Um, it looks delicious. Yes, indeed, I'm famished. We're very grateful for your hospitality. I prefer Turkish delight. What, dear? He said it looks perfect. He's delighted. Now, I want to express how I feel for the upcoming events. Now, okay. We're so very honored to have the children of prophecy. The children of prophecy? I don't even know what prophecy means. It's something that's predicted to Something that will, well, probably happen. Oh. Uh, what is the prophecy, Mr. Beaver? Well, it is a total form of a rhyme. Long will we wait when Aslan comes in sight. When he bares his teeth, winter will meet its death. At the sound of his roar, sorrows will be no more. When he shakes his mane, we shall spring again. Who is Aslan? Certainly not. He is the king of the wood, the son of the great emperor beyond the sea. Aslan is a lion, a great lion. We have heard he's at Narnia as we speak. This is so. We will take you to the stone table to meet him tomorrow morning. To help fulfill the prophecy. But how do we even all this? We still don't exactly understand. You will if you listen to the rest of the rhyme. When Adam's flesh and Adam's bones attack care bear ball and throne, evil time will be over and done. What does that mean, Adam's flesh and Adam's bones? It means humans. You are the first humans to ever come to Narnia. What, what about the queen and the dwarf? Aren't they human? You mean the witch and the dwarf. She'd like you to believe that they're human, but they're not. The evil through and through, not a drop of human blood in them. This cow of all that you mentioned, how many thrones are there? Four. Two for the sons of Adam, and two for the daughters of Eve. Two. And two! It's quite a responsibility. It's quite a necessity. Can we count on you to help fulfill the prophecy? Even though the adventure will be filled with danger. I for one am rising. I too. And I. 
What about you, Ed? Ed? Edmund? Where could he have gone? Perhaps to get some fresh air? Do you think he became ill? We have to look for us since we got here. Wait a minute. You mentioned the witch and also a dwarf. We knew nothing of the person. Is there such a person? Yes, the dwarf drives the witch's sleigh. Then Ed has met them and eaten her food, no doubt. He had that look. He's surely under her spell. Then we must add back. No, you mustn't go near the witch. She'll turn you into stone with her magic wand. But we have to get Edmund back. All four of us, I need to know the prophecy, like you said. What are we going to do? If Aslan is indeed a known here, we will go ask him what to do. Then we shall set up for the stone table first thing tomorrow morning. I say we set up right now. When Edmund tells the witch where we are, she will be returned us all the stone. This is the place, all right. Oh no. Is that? I'm afraid so. It's the dwarf. I resent that insinuation. I'm no dwarf, I'm an elf. Well, what's the difference? Either way, the witch is going to come in and... Wait a minute, Peter. There is a difference. An elf, you say? An elf, I said. Elves aren't bad at all, if I'm not mistaken. You're not mistaken. He's mistaken. And you're clever, very clever, because you know my name. I know. And you can only know my name, all of my names, if you travel with the one who knows everybody's name. Name him? Father Christmas! Do you mean that Father Christmas is actually here? After all these years? In the flesh, or in the fur. Ta-da! I've come at last. The power of the witch has kept me away for some time now. Well, completely, I felt stronger, more like myself. That's why I'm making my rounds again. They say that Aslan is on the move. That must be the answer. Well, are you ready for your gifts? First, Mr. Beaver. I have repaired your dam and mended the leak. Why, I, I... A simple thank you will suffice. Thank you. Next, Mrs. Beaver. In the room next to the smokehouse, I've left you a brand new sewing machine. Oh my, Just I... Just say what he said. Thank you. Peter, son of Adam. Yes, sir. These are your gifts. They are tools, not toys. The time to use them is perhaps near at hand. Sword and shield are yours. Tread them well. Thank you. Susan, daughter of Eve. These are yours. Use the bow only in great need, and blow this horn if you are in any trouble, and some kind of help will come. Thank you, sir. Lucy, younger daughter of Eve. In this bottle is a cordial made of the juice from fire flowers. If you or your friends are ever hurt, just one drop will make you better. And only use this dagger when absolutely necessary. Thank you, Father Christmas. Well, we must be on our way. We have many more stops tonight. And long live the true king! Long live the true king! We too must be on our way. We must travel cautiously and quietly. Which is spies are everywhere. The gifts from Father Christmas may be needed as our journey goes on. Come, let us go. Where is little fool? How dare you 
Malone. Did I not tell you to bring the others? If you please, Your Majesty, I did the best I could. I just wanted you to know that they needed not I'm sure you have to make an idea to start the yeah? Oh! Never speak that name while I'm present again! Yes, Your Majesty. So, he's arrived presently. Perhaps it's only a rumor, Your Majesty. No, it must be true. Everything seems to be getting more. Even the snow from the fields are starting to melt. Where are your brothers and sisters right now? They, they weren't on the field, but they may be on the field to start to As to see them, we must capture our children before they reach that creature. Capture? But why? Why, you? I shall never let the box come true. Dwarf, make twenty the slave for our journey. We must leave immediately. Oh, your majesty, I'm afraid we'll have to walk. The reindeer cannot travel without the snow. They'll sink into the mud, and we shall go on foot. Brothers Ulf, keep my secret, please. You are the thieves of all my army. Go ahead of us and overtake these humans before they reach the stone table. Kill anything in your path, especially the beavers from Harvest. I hear it obey. Dwarf, drive the human up ahead of us and tie his hands behind his back with blood. Nice. But, but your majesty, what about my Turkish slide? You said- Silence, fool! But I'm hungry! Enough of this one!
us. But why, Alaskan? So you can rescue the other son of Adam. Oh. But do not fear the strength of the Avengers and also your faith to accomplish this task. The children will stay with me. Peter, you have arrived to please your sword. <coughs> now hand it to me, Neil, son of Adam. Rise up, Sir Peter Fenris Bane. Your new name will tell the world that you're the destroyer of the evil war. Always maintain courage, whatever happens, never forget to your sword. Yes, Sazelon. Now come, let us go to the pavilion to wait the others. If all goes well, they will return to you rather shortly. It will be difficult to reach the stone table before a huge, unless they were delayed along the way. Surely find us all over words with soon. Please, your majesty, may I rest just a bit? No, young fool, we must keep moving. Move, move! What's this? My queen, find us all. Who has done this horrible thing to you? The other son of Adam, uh, at the bidding of us. No, don't dare speak his name. But he is here, at the stone table. <gasps> Let me go into yonder thicket, where I may rest. Fenris, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my beloved captain, they have slain him! Oh, now the prophecy will surely come true. No, there are four stones in camp for all. all. Only three of them are occupied. The prophecy can never be fulfilled, and he can never rule over Narnia. Then we had better do what we must do at once. Prepare the victim! Please, Your Majesty, what are you going to do to me? The bear is saying that your wretched brother did to my little captain. What's that? Yes, come with me for a moment. 
What is he saying to me? Whatever it is, it's the right proper thing. I wish I could hear. But we could know. Here's your brother. You have no need to talk to him about what has passed. I'm sorry, dude. Susan, I'm glad you're safe. Pizza. Welcome back, brother. Look, someone's coming. See who approaches. Aslan, shall we prepare for battle again? Hold, my son. We shall see what comes to pass. Look, the intruder carries a white flag, the sign of peace. Fire. <laughs> Great audience with you. I don't know what to do. Let him approach. <coughs> you see, we come in peace. What is your message? The Queen of Narnia requires a safe conduct to come and speak with you. The Queen of Narnia of Gideon, with all the cheek. Peace, Beaver. Tell your mistress I grant you safe conduct on condition that she leaves her magic plug behind on the great oak so she can play no magical trickery. The magic she plans requires no trick. What can she possibly want here? She's up to no good, I can I can feel her presence already. Shh, she's coming. You have a traitor there, Adlan. Spence is not against you. Have you forgotten the magic? Tell me of it. Tell you, you know the magic which the Emperor put into Narnia at the beginning of time. You know that every traitor belongs to me. For every treachery, I have the right to kill. We're all gonna die. Oh so, the human creature is mine. His life is forfeit to me. His blood is my property. Come and take him then! Peace! Fool! Do you think you can rob me of my rights by mere force? Your master knows what's right. He knows that unless laws obey, all men will be overturned to perish fire and water. It is true, I do not deny it. Can we do anything about the deep magic, asshole? Not against the Emperor's magic, but I will talk to the witch. You mean the queen. Shut up, you toad! Peace, peace, fall back, all of you. The suspense is awful. What are they talking about? Do you think she can save the boy? If anything can be done, the Aslan will think of it. Hard if we could go home, but at any rate, we need it here. Now more than ever, our brothers are right. I think the Emperor needs that moment. I don't think we could go with that. The matter at hand has been settled. The witch has re to claim on your mother's blood. Edmund is free. Gather all our forces. Time to hand. One final thing. Had I known your promise would be kept, you know when Aslan makes a promise, it will be kept. What did she mean, Aslan? What promise did you make her? You have no need to worry about that. Now all we must leave here at once. This place is made for another purpose. Go to the fields of Aruna. That's where you'll camp tonight. But you're not going with us, Aslan. I need here. Peter, the witch has business in these parts. When she is finished, you and the others must be prepared for anything, even a battle of life or death. But you will join us during the battle, won't you, Aslan? I can make a little promise of that. Now go. Muffle him! 
Centennials, erect our banners, set our victory. Place them on the altar. Now, who has won, you fool? Did you think by sacrificing yourself you would save the human traitor? Not only will I kill you in his place as we agree, but I will come back and kill you, boy, as well. With that knowledge, despair, and die! Yeah! Yeah! Now, follow me as we set about finishing what remains of war. We'll not do this on the crush of the human vermin and the young traitor. Now the great fool, the great cat, lies dead.
scams. No, no advice in asthma. I'm worried about them. Where could they be? Good morning, Peter. Edmund. Hello. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Sheba. The other is scared, but not too What would you do next? We need to find Aslan to ask him for guidance. What is that? If it's the witch of her army, it could be the death for us. Without Aslan, we are lost. And we shall not go down the path, but... Yes, Edmund is right. Here, take this dagger. Lucy left it my care. If this is indeed to be our last day, let it be marked with power and honor! <laughs> Place the 
lamppost back in its rightful place. The children would rule for a long while, but once they want to go back to whence they came, the lamppost would be their guide. Thank you. 